Hello, welcome to another episode of Plugin India. We are here in Navi Mumbai, also known as New Bombay, and we are here to drive the new Tata Tigo EV. So, what are we going to do today? We are taking this car on a long drive of 165, 170 kilometers, and we are going to do test the range of the car. We are going to this place called Chibo Escape Resort near Asangao. We've been there before, and this is our second trip there. We are going to go there. The owner has arranged a lavish breakfast spread for us, and we are going to see whether this car can deliver. There will be four people in the car, and the AC will be on the entire time. It's going to be a very fun journey. So, please join us. This is the cabin. It's quite spacious, as you can see. Over here, in front of me, you have the central console display, and here you have the dashboard display. The dashboard display is very small and cramped. You have all the information you need on it, but you have to look for it a little bit. So you have the range on the top right. You have the state of charge on the uh, at the center at the top. Uh, on the left, you can see the neutral display, whatever setting you have on right now. At the bottom left, you have the trip information, and Besides that, you have the time, and uh, also on the right, you have the watt hours per kilometer. Now here, this is the dial. So the dial is quite unique. You have four settings: you have neutral, then there's drive, there's reverse, and then there's sport mode for those times when you want to zip along on the highway. So let's talk a little bit about acceleration, steering, handling, all that stuff. Acceleration, it's quite sedate in normal drive mode. Uh, obviously, you have the instant torque. Uh, the drive mode is, I guess, for city driving. You don't really get a lot of uh, punch in that. But if I move it to sport mode, then the car just takes off. The steering is decent. The power steering is is of very high quality. It's very good, very responsive. You'll find the steering quite useful to move between vehicles in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, for example. It's quite zippy. And finally, we come to the suspension. Uh, suspension in this car is neither good nor bad. It's a uh, hard suspension, so you do feel all the little bumps and jerks. If you're expecting the smoothness that that you have in, say, a Jaguar or uh, in the Nexon EV, even, then you're not really going to get that here. I'm just trying to get to 40, and then I'm going to switch to sport mode. We'll see how fast the car accelerates. Okay, we're in sport mode now, and one, two, three. And uh, decelerate. And now we're testing the regen. And that's it. So we've done about 40 kilometers so far. We have 80 percent SOC remaining and 182 kilometers of range remaining. We stop for a bit just to get some rest, give the car some rest, and we'll be heading out again in five minutes. It's all very green all out here, and we're enjoying the lovely weather. So see you at the next stop. We're only about 10 minutes from our destination. We've done a mix of city driving and highway driving, and the experience has been quite good. It was not fatiguing to drive in the city at all, even in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. We switched between modes. We know drove in the normal mode. We also drove in the sports mode. The car is very comfortable to drive, especially when you're driving long distances, because there are no vibrations. Even in the most expensive 
automatic petrol car, you cannot escape the vibrations of the car. But in a in an electric car, and this is a cost-friendly electric car, you still have no vibration. So the driving is really comfortable. So we finally reached Chibo Escape Resort. We've done a total of 74 kilometers. We have 63% range remaining, which translates to 145 kilometers. The place we are at is Chibo Escape Resort. We came here four and a half years ago. That was a long time ago in the EV world. Back then, all you had was the E2O. The e Verito was months away. The Model 3 was months away. Uh, Tata Nexon EV itself were years away. That was a time of freaks and pioneers and we consider ourselves one of those. We came here and we set up a charge point. You'll see it later in the video. Uh, we charged our cars back then and those charge points are still available and you can come here to the resort, you can enjoy yourself, stay overnight and charge your car while you're at it. Hi, I'm Vinod Thakur. I'm your host at Chibo Escape. Uh, I have a very quaint and small place out here which uh, you can use by, on your way from uh, Mumbai to Nasik. Uh, we have uh, village style cottages. We provide uh, local cuisine. The link to my place is in uh, down. So you can click on that and uh, know more about us or you can Google Chibo Escape. So look forward to host you the next time. The Tigor, how do you like these new rims? They've got these blue colors. Yeah, it's very. Really <laughs> They're giving it EV badging and yeah. nice disc brakes. Dumb uh, disc brakes. The, yeah. the entire Maxwell is looking good. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, we've done a distance of about 150 kilometers. Even though we travel such a long distance, I didn't feel any tiredness, not even when we were stuck in traffic, because the car drives so smoothly, it handles so smoothly, there's no vibration. This car, which is nowhere close to being a premium car, will still not make you tired, no matter how long you drive it. And that is a special quality that you will only, only get in an EV. So this was a great ride, I really enjoyed myself. And we hope you enjoyed this video too. Thank you for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe to Plugin India so you can see more videos like this. Goodbye.